Hello, how is everyone doing? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. If you bought the Qi Yu in the Smooth 5 and you want to learn how to use it, you are in the right place. And if you don't know whether to buy this gimbal or not, I do have a video review on my channel, so I'll put the link down in the description below. All right, let's do it. To make things easier, the first step is to place the tripod on the lower part of the gimbal. Now charge the device using the supplied USB-C cable. Open the rubber cover that is at the front to reveal the USB port and connect the cable. When it's done charging, unlock the pan axis by sliding this switch to the right. Unlock this arm by pulling it like this. And then the last arm by pushing it like so. Make sure that every axis can move freely before keep going. Before you mount your smartphone, you need to decide if you're going to use it on horizontal or vertical mode. For vertical mode, we will use the clamp on this position and we're going to place the phone in the middle of the clamp. For horizontal mode, we need to rotate the clamp like this. Place the smartphone on the clamp and make sure that the camera is on the left side. And for best results, push the bottom of the phone all the way against this motor over here. To balance the smartphone, unlock this arm and slide the arm left or right until the smartphone is balanced and then lock the arm. The power button is on the right side. Press and hold for 3 seconds to power on or off. When the gimbal is on, you can press once to check the battery level. It is very important to never turn the gimbal on when you don't have a smartphone on it. The first time you use this gimbal, you will need to download and install the Kami app. Make sure that Bluetooth is on on your smartphone, open the app and you will have to activate the Smooth 5. You will need to register if you haven't done so in the past and then just follow the indications to finish activating your new gimbal. When the activation is finished, you are going to be able to use the gimbal. So let's take a closer look at the buttons. Below the USB charging port, we have this trigger over here. Press once to enable smart tracking and the app will try to identify what's in the center of the frame. So if I want to track another object or person, I will need to move the camera so that object or person is in the middle of the frame. The other way to enable smart tracking is to draw a box on the screen like this on whatever you want to track. And as you can see, it doesn't need to be in the middle of the screen. To cancel the tracking, you can press the trigger once or press the X on the green box. If you double press the trigger, it will recenter the camera. If you triple press the trigger, it will flip the camera like this. And if you press and hold the trigger, it will enter a sport mode. This will make the gimbal react faster to your movements and this is useful for fast moving subjects or if you need to reframe as quick as possible. On the left side of the Smooth 5, we have this big wheel that has two functions. The default mode is to zoom in and to zoom out. The great thing about this wheel is that the faster it rotates, the faster it will zoom in or out. If you press this button in the middle, it will let you manually focus using the wheel. And just like the zoom, Rotating the wheel faster or slower will make the camera focus faster or slower. On the main panel, we have a full-size joystick and this will move the camera around. The joystick is omnidirectional, so it can move in different directions at the same time. For example, left and down or up and right at the same time. The speed of the movement can also be controlled. If you push just a bit, it will move slower and the more you push in, the faster the camera will move. Down here, we have the shutter button. If you press it once, it will take a picture or it will start or stop recording a video. And you can double press to switch between the rear and the front facing camera. But this is not going to work if you already started to record. This is the mode button. And here we can select the different gimbal or follow modes, which are going to be indicated with these lights over here. Every time you press the mode button, it will go to the next follow mode. And if you double press the mode button, it will go back to the previous one. The Smooth 5 has four basic gimbal modes. Pan follow, where the row and the tilt axis are going to be locked 
but the pan axis is not locked. This mode is useful for panning movements or to orbit around something. The next mode is all lock, and here all the axes are going to be locked, so no matter how you move the gimbal, the smartphone will be pointing at the same direction. And this one is useful if you plan to walk in a straight path. Next up, we have follow mode, and here the roll axis is going to be locked, but it will allow you to pan and tilt. And the last mode is POV, where everything gets unlocked. The roll, the tilt, the panning, everything. If you press the mode button once when you're on POV mode, it will enter vortex mode. On this mode, you need to hold the gimbal horizontally. Moving the joystick to the left or the right is going to make the smartphone spin clockwise or counterclockwise. The spinning speed will change depending on how hard you push the joystick and you can also change the joystick speed on the main menu on the app. If you're going to use the fill light, just place it on either side of the clamp. To turn the light on, you need to press this button in the middle for about 2 seconds. To change the brightness, you need to turn the dial clockwise or counterclockwise. And to turn the light off, you press and hold the button in the middle again. This dial is also going to work as a shortcut to a few settings. If you double press up, it will open the menu to change the resolution and the frame rate. If you double press down, it will open the playback menu where you can see your pictures and videos. Double pressing to the right will let you change the ISO and double pressing to the left will let you hide or display this information down here. The ISO and the display button are not working right now but I got an email from Tijuin saying that they are currently working to fix it. When the fill light is off, the dial will let you change the different camera modes. This menu button on the left will open a main menu where you can also change the camera mode and on the right side, you can select the gimbal modes available. To take low angle shots, we're going to be using under a long mode. And to do so, we're going to flip the gimbal upside down. There are two ways to do this. The first one is excellent if you want to transition from a low angle to a higher one or vice versa. If you're not doing this or if you're going to hold the gimbal completely vertical when it's upside down, I recommend flipping the gimbal to the side like this. All right, let's take a quick look at the Cami app. Here on the right side, you can select the different camera modes. For example, video mode, time lapse, panorama shots, and so on. On this column, this button will change from the main camera to the selfie camera or vice versa. This one is the record button. The little hand will enable gesture control. Once you activate this to start recording or to take a picture, you need to show your hand like this or do the V sign. Down here, this button is a playback button where you can watch your videos or pictures. On the left column, this icon will take you to the home screen. And over here, you can select manual or auto settings for your ISO and shutter speed. Here, you can select the resolution and the frame rates available on your smartphone. And this button here will turn on or off the beauty effect. The three dots over here will open the main menu where you can change different settings. For example, you can change the white balance, turn the grid lines on or off, and change the joystick speed and so on. If you have any questions on how to use the gimbal, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.